Now, if you want to check out these parks, you'll probably want to know about the ever-changing Texas weather. We've talked a lot about weather records and averages over the last few months, especially with how wacky our weather has been. But usually we're talking about record keeping in Waco, but that isn't always the case. Our meteorologist Aaron Miranda is live in Brazos County with more on what makes Brian so unique when it comes to weather records. Aaron. Each and every morning, we're giving you temperature updates, weather updates on more than a dozen cities in Central Texas and in the Brazos Valley. And we talk a lot about climatology, averages, records, major weather events, things like that. Usually, we're talking about data that's recorded at Waco Regional Airport, but there is one other location in the area that we cover where we can get official climate data, and you guessed it. It's right here in Bryan. So we're talking about rainfall and temperature data observations. They began on the campus of Texas A&M College in May of 1882. Record keeping was pretty sporadic from 1882 to 1907, and we basically have no records available from 1908 to 1909, but reliable record keeping really began in 1910 and has continued up to the present. Now, when we talk about averages in Bryan, we're basing those averages on 30 years of data. Those 30 years of observations are all from the same location. In 1951, a weather station was set up at the College Station FAA Airport. It is still there today, and you know it as Easterwood Field. Now, the average low for today in Bryan is right around 60 degrees. The average high is 81. Of course, so we've been talking about it all morning. We're a lot cooler than 60 degrees right now. We're actually expecting to be cooler than 81 this afternoon as well. For more on what you can expect, with your forecast for today and as we head closer to the weekend, we'll send it back to meteorologist Felicia Woody in the studio.